Good evening, good evening, and welcome to our weekly travel training. My name is Marcia Lashley, and tonight we're going to have a very short and brief training, uh, but I want to open the lines mostly for you guys, for you agents, to have, if you have any questions or any um, issues that you may have, then we can work through them. Uh, let's get started. What I would like to share with you guys tonight is the um, information, guys, because, you know, with our suppliers, a lot of I get a lot of calls, and I don't mind, you guys, you know, you can call me, text me. If I'm available, I'll answer. If not, text me or email me. I have no problem helping you guys and answering questions. But I think that it's imperative that you guys take note of this information because these are the commonly used suppliers that we use very often. And if you have any issues, you would want to know what department to go to or contact, and you would want to have the information. So I thought, um, you know, I would share this information so you guys can take a picture of it or a screen print, or if you want to write it down, um, you can go back to the recording and you'll be able to write it down if you're moving a little slow. If I'm not moving, if I'm moving a little fast for you. But this is FunJet Vacations and TNT Vacations, and this is their customer service information. If you're looking for customer service, this is where you call. Um, post travel customer service, if you're, if you're having issues after your clients have traveled, this is where you'll send an email. If you have a group, group, uh, package or group that you're booking, the group department email and telephone number is here. And then, of course, group share way is separate from contracted groups. So there's an email for that. And oh, GoFundJet, price match. If you guys want to price match, this is the email to price match. I just wanted to share this information with you guys so that you guys would have, um, have it accessible to you, okay? United Vacations. I'm sorry. I'm moving a little too fast there. United Vacations, customer service information here as well, um, their groups department. Um, this is Southwest Vacations. This is their information. During travel, customer service information, their email address, and post-travel information here as well. And this is Blue Sky Tours, customer service. During travel, customer service, and post-travel, customer service, and the groups department. And this is for all brands. Uh, if you want to contact VAX directly, VAX te Support Technology, if you're having technical issues, this is where you would send your email to VAX Tech Support at vacationaccess.com, telephone number. Um, commissions inqu inquiries, you would send information to travel agency admin at marktravel.com. And the agent bonus cash issues or questions, you would send it to bonus cash at marktravel.com. And please include your agency name and um, IATA or ARC number um, when you're corresponding with them and any reservations number that you have uh, in relation to it so that they can do their research before they get back in touch with you. Um, I thought it will be wise to share with you guys um, one of the luxury, um, this, this, week's, this week's webinar, this month's webinar, I should say. But um, I think that this is great. This is Africa Travel. This is one of our luxury lines, and I think you guys should definitely register for this. It will share a lot with you. It's TTC is holding it, um, the Travel Corporation. So I think it's very important that you guys register for this January the 30th. At 9 p.m., go ahead and register for this so that you guys can gather as much information. It will be very good for you because, you know, time's getting closer for people traveling. A lot of people are going to Africa, so you want to definitely make sure that you are aware and informed before you contact your clients. Um, Carnival. Carnival have a reduced deposit sale that began on Monday, the January 22nd. I thought I should bring it to your attention. I know you guys work and you're busy and some of the emails just slip by you, but this was in the email that um, Jody sent on Monday. And if you guys are getting Jody's emails, I would highly recommend that you go take some time to go through her emails. She always gives a reward code in the bottom of the email, and you can go to GoCCL, enter it, and get some points, some fun points. So I think that's great. Um, you get 
rewarded for information. So, um, but the reduced deposit um, early saver sale started on Monday, and these are the details right here. You can always go back to this recording, or you can go to your email. And this recording will be on YouTube. Go to YouTube.com, and then you go to OTM Travel Services and subscribe so that each week as I record and I post them, you'll be notified. And so you can just click on the link. It'll send an email right to your email and you can click on the link and you'll have access to it. Um, Vacation Express, I, I, this is the agent incentive. I thought this was, um, you know, to share this information with you guys because a lot of people are booking and you need to know how many, if you book, um, earn extra cash for every 10, 15, and 20 bookings that you do with Vacation Express and book five and fly for free. They also have freebies, reduced deposit plans and groups, and a whole lot more. So I would definitely check out Vacation Express along with the other suppliers. They have great rates. I also thought I should bring um, share this with you guys. I know that a lot of you guys were not at the um, ITQ in Orlando, and these were going around. This is what I scanned on my printer and just saved it for you guys to share with you guys. Um, they're the leaders in faith-based travel. They have awesome all-inclusive um, TC tour conductor points, and they're giving all-inclusive for the tour conductor. So if you are a group leader, uh, you can travel 100% free when you bring 10 full paying guests, which is awesome, guys. I'm like right there. <laughs> uh, they also have FAMs, and they also pay 15% commissions. So. I think that you guys should definitely take a look into this. Uh, if you're church members or you have, um, you know, a lot of uh, church members or, you know, you're involved in a huge mega church, this is a great way for you to increase your clientele and increase your sales, okay? And also, um, the Travel Corporation and IntelliTravel has brought this together. I thought that this was pretty cool. This is a great way for you to match your clients with um, the, travel, uh, the Travel Corporation brands. So like luxury travelers, if you have any travelers that are luxury travels, you would want to try Uniworld, Luxury Gold, Brennan, Brennan Private Chauffeurs, Africa Travel, Red Carnation Hotels. If you have millennials, you want to check out Contiki, Baby Boomers, Trafalgar, uh, Families, Trafalgar. They have Trafalgar and Cost Savers. They have really great rates. Families on a budget, cost savers, and Trafalgar. So these are suppliers in our back office, guys. If you go into the vacations tab, you'll see these suppliers there. Okay, and you can read up on them. You can check them out and get some quotes and book your clients. Budget travelers, cost savers, and Contiki. So these, this is a great way for you to match. You know, if you're looking for certain suppliers for your clients, this is a great way to match them. Okay. And so vacation rental suppliers, I got a lot of calls this week about uh, vacation. This is, a, this is a time, actually, and I'm going to share with you guys a little presentation that I did for my clients. I'm very proud of it. It's not quite done yet, but I just wanted to show you what we as independent travel agents are capable of doing to boost our sales, to boost our clientele, to have people refer others to us and come back. We have to kind of, like I said last week, we have to, you know, Break the box down and get really creative. Use your assets and your tools to get you where you want. So vacation rental suppliers who work with travel agents are VRBO. And you guys have, I'm pretty sure you guys have that information. I shared it with you guys in the other recordings. And Villas of Distinction and Villas, the Villa Experience. Now, Villas of Distinction and Villa Experience, they're sister companies. So um, you can use either one. As you can see, they're very similar, but they have different properties. And, of course, the telephone number is different. Um, what they will do is they'll send you two invoices. Um, one will be a client invoice and one will be an agent invoice, okay? So you can tell the difference between, because the agent invoice, of course, may have your commissions on it. The client invoice will not. You can just send that directly to your clients. Um, their deposits, if it's inside of 90 days, then the full payment is due. But if it's outside of 90 days, then it's a 50% deposit and the balance is due on a final payment date, okay? And they do pay 10% commissions to travel agents. So these are great uh, suppliers to get with. Um, they have thousands and thousands, up to 5,000 up to 5,000 in destination dollars. But they have hundreds and hundreds of destinations in over 50 countries worldwide. So I would suggest you guys check them out. 
as well for your vacation rentals. Um, Travel Rental Network, this is a place I found. Um, not sure if Intel Travel works with them or not, but they do pay travel agents commissions. I've checked them out. I actually have a client. We're in the, in the midst of working with them. They seem very well. I'm giving them a try right now, so I'm sharing with you guys. I'll keep you posted on the outcome of it, but they do pay travel agents, and they actually have a travel agent link there. So check them out. Um, and this is their numbers that you can call, but it's the Travel Rental Network, and you can just Google it and find them there. I just want to share information with you guys. Um, some more information on them. Uh, they don't, they just pretty much, they don't, they don't hand, they don't, they, not only do they hand pick, but they take some time and they, they vet their um, homeowners, okay? So these are, this is a list of the things that they go through, and I don't want to take much time because this is a very short training tonight. Um, but this is their information here. I just want to share that with you guys. I know you guys have been calling me, asking my recommendations, and so I thought I'll just put it on here. They are I, um, a member of IATAN and a member of the Better Business Bureau, which is important because you want to make sure that um, companies that we book with are affiliated with IATAN and Better Business Bureau and CLIA and ARC and ASTA so that we can have rep a better reputation for our clients and ourselves and our commissions, okay? And that was pretty much the end of it. Isn't that a short training? Very, very short. It's just information that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to open the lines, but I have a lot of sites that we're going to go on, but I'm open the lines for any questions on what you guys just any questions on what you guys just saw? No? Okay. Okay, so let's go to Google. So I want to show you some marketing things that, um, you know, I thought that would be beneficial for you guys. So these are emails that I received from Intelligent Travel, and we all, I receive them, you guys receive them too. A lot of you guys are asking me how do you do the flyers and stuff. They're very simple. You just, all I did was click on the link. I'm actually still in my email. I just clicked on the link that says if you're not, if you're browsing, if you're not seeing it, click here, and it kind of extends it. But I wanted to show you guys. Um, consumer flyer, you just click on the consumer flyer tab right there. It'll turn into an Adobe um, type file. It'll bring the flyer up. And you just go right here, put OTM. Oh, look at me. I'm going too fast already. Put your email. All I see is blurry in large words. Oh no, wait a minute. All right, do you guys see now? That definitely was user error. <laughs> that was me, guys. Can you guys see now? Yay. Cool. So like I said before, all I did was just click on the email and you know right above your in your email it says if you're not if your browser's not viewing this, click on this link and that's what I did and then expanded into a web browser. That's pretty much all I did. And um and like I said, you just click on let me go back. This is pretty much it right here. This is what I received an email and this was the email and so what I did is I clicked on the link like I told you guys and then you come to consumer flyer here click on it. It'll turn into an Adobe file. And you'll see the flyer and just scroll down. Put your information here. Like I'll put my agency name here. And my email address. Very simple. And that is it. Save it.
to the desktop. Sorry, that's, I was just in my cruise booking. Final payment dates are coming up, so everyone's calling to pay. And that is it. Very simple, right? Here's another. This was Costa cost Cruises. And this is flyer is ready already. All you have to do is just go here and put your information there and boom, or just send this out to your clients directly. So, you know, I thought I should share you guys. We have the tools, guys. Here's Azamara. Same thing. Enter the travel partner name here, OTM Travel Services. I don't put my address. I put my telephone number and my email address for them to reach me. And I'll put snow. And I'll put my email address here for them. Oh, fingers moving fast. And this is it. Simple, right? No ex no no additional software, none of that. And then we save. Azamara, boom. You save it. Save it on your desktop and then you can shoot an email to your client. Or, you know, However, you want to send it to your client. If you want to print it out to them, um, that is you can do that as well. This is Japan travel updates. Well, this is this is a um, Japan. I went to this course when I went to attended CLIA last year. I thought it was great. I thought I'd share it with you guys to go go on your own and check it out because you know you have travel people traveling all around the world, and so you want to know that you have access to these suppliers and they have tours in Japan. Um, I have someone call me that wants to travel to Japan, so I'm definitely doing some research on it, but I just thought, like I said, I'll always share information with you guys what I learn. Okay. Um, ITQ, um, this is, and of course, view this email as a web page, click here. And that's what I pretty much did, guys, um, in my email. I was sent, you guys, I know you guys saw this, but these are all the, for those of you who did not attend ITQ Quest, ITQ Quest. Um, these are the suppliers that uh, you can definitely check out all the offers that they have. I would suggest that you go into your email. Specials. They all have specials going on. I thought this was cool that Intel Travel just combined them all into one. Um, what I want to talk to you guys briefly, though, is about is um, this new real ID. I'm not sure if you agents are aware of it, but if you go to VAX, uh, they will give you some more insight on it. There's an extension. Actually, it was supposed to be starting January 2018, but they pushed it back to October instead. But, you know, even even if your clients are traveling domestic, you have to make sure that they have a state ID and it's in com compliant with True ID, and the state that you're in is compliant with True ID. So this is some research that you, I would highly recommend you as an agent for your own independent business because if your clients contact you and you're not aware of it, how are you going to inform them? So I thought that I should share that with you guys uh, really well, really quick. Oh, I should have never closed that out. I meant to go into VAX when I closed it out. I have some training in Royal Caribbean that I wanted to do, but I needed to put a presentation together first. So I think I'm going to put it off till next week for you guys. Let's go to suppliers and do some booking. Do you guys compartmentalize your, your browsers like I do? I find it very easy when I'm booking, especially if I have a client on the phone and I'm booking. Sometimes I have issues with with, with fax logging in. I don't know why. See, told you. I should have never closed it out. Now I'm having problems going back in.
You started doing what? Let me let me go into um Q and A. Let me put it in Q and A. I like when I'm doing this. I like to be in Q and A, guys, because uh, I want to talk to you guys. I want you guys to talk to me. We can talk. Okay. Sonia, what were you saying? You have the same issues too, so it's not just me, guys. It's such a struggle. I think I did this before. I can't. I can't. I just can't, guys. Now, that is the issue because I really needed to show you guys some things in bats. I apologize for closing that out. Let's see if I have another backlog in here. One second. You don't have sound? Let's see why you don't have sound, Sonia. Go into the go into the Q and A um, queue, and you'll be able to speak once you go in there. Hi, Sonia. You should be able to speak now. Sonia, are you there? You're free to speak. I mean, it's, it's, um, it is, you're not on mute. None of you guys are on mute. Mary? Yes. Hi, Mary. You have a question? No, I don't have a question. Oh, okay. I know Sonia has a question. She's trying to speak, but she's on silent. Uh, let's see if I can see you. I don't usually have the camera up. <laughs> oh, I see your gorgeous face. Yes, ma'am, I do. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I can't hear you. You're in the queue to speak, so and you're you're clear. Mary is an active speaker. You should be one too. <laughs> She's moving her mouth, but that's it. I can't hear. Yeah, right. She's moving her mouth, but that's it. I'm so sorry, Sonia. I don't know what you're doing on your end, but you're you're open to speak. I I you're free. Everyone is free to speak. I don't have anyone muted. You guys mute yourselves. Yeah, all of you guys are off of mute, so um, I'm going to give this one more try, guys. You never know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nothing. This just totally throws the training off because now I'm not able to access it to show you guys what I wanted to. And that was me closing it out by, by mistake. Oh, this is horrible. Now 
now. Okay. Well, let's let me work on let me answer any questions that you guys have. Sonia, I'm so sorry. Why can I not hear you? I can hear everyone else. Let's go to the wall. Yeah, everyone's everyone is on no one's on mute. No one is on mute. Well, Mary muted herself. You think it's your laptop? Maybe you should try your phone. Maybe you should try um, going to freeconferencecall.com and putting in the online meeting ID and use it on your phone. A lot of people do that um, so that they can free up their computers. And sometimes they're on their computers walking through, you know, if I'm walking through a, a supplier, they're on there um, doing the same thing. So I find that it's, you know, smart to sometimes do put up on your phone so you can just see it and then you can actually go in there and do it yourself because your computer's free. I don't know. This is horrible. I don't understand why you can't see. And there's nothing else that I can do back here in the back office. I tried everything that I can try to um, get you to speak. Okay, since I'm not I'm having issues, I'll go I guess I'll go into cruising power. Um one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys, I know I mentioned groups. A few weeks ago we talked about groups and booking groups and your Pied Piper and getting the word out there and gifts and, and offering um incentives to your group to keep them warm. Well, this is how you can go in and purchase um, gifts for your clients. So let's say they're booking with Royal, and maybe I should find a booking number to pull up. Maybe I have one in here that's paste. No, I don't. Let's see one second here. Uh, I can find a booking number in my in my travel book. I also have them written down just like I have them saved in my computer so that if we ever go out of power, I will have access to all my bookings. Yes, I'm very old school, guys. Okay, here's one. Let me find this booking number. Eight, five, four, one, one. And so even if you so even if you have if it's with our agency or not, you can still purchase a gift and add it to their cabin, which is so cool, I think. As you can see, Royal, you have both options, other agency booking or your agency booking. So I'm gonna put my agency booking in here. Did I not hit search? What is going on today, guys? I'm hitting search, guys. I'm not going to say I don't think it's my computer because <laughs> I don't know. But something fishy is going on in cyber world. Okay, so you can purchase a gift. I'm going to go back and do this one more time. Go to Royal. Let's try that booking number again. <laughs> Oh, I think that because it is, oh, ain't that something? Look at that. Did you guys see that? Did you guys tell me that? Okay, now it should work. 
So now we're going to go into the booking, but it's going to take us to their, their to the little shopping area where you can actually purchase gifts for your clients. And as you can see, the basket is empty right now. You can choose a category, gifts, flowers, room decor, packages, culinary, wine, cellar. Um, let's just do gifts. And then you just browse. You have the sandals. I actually ordered some of those for the girls already. I didn't do this, the ropes yet. But these are some of the things that you can actually purchase. $13. They actually have a sale um, on those ropes, I think. Yeah, they have a couple of sales. See? Uh, you can get the, the, the terry slippers for $5 instead of $10 which I think is great. So I ordered some for my guests because those 16 cabins I have, I ordered for them. You have the interchangeable sandals. They were $20 and now they're $9. So, okay, let's say we're going to view it. Let's add, let's, let's add it. I'm not going to go through shopping because I'll go shopping, guys. So this is pretty much the slippers. This is what you're going to do. You're going to make sure that you have the right size for your clients because if you have a guy, if it's for a male or a female, you want to select the right shoes. So you can select male five, um, women six, or male eight and a half, women ten. And, you know. So um, and the delivery date that you want, like I would want them to deliver it the day after we cruise, so it'll be the 19th, and then you add it to the cart. Very simple, and I think that's a great deal. Actually, I'm going to add one to my cart. So then you go to your cart, and you check out. Very simple. Proceed to check out. And this is not, you can't add this to bill this. So you have to put your credit card information and put it in. And, of course, that was the um, information you saw for the booking. Those are the, I did this one before because, like I said, I purchased something for them already. Um, so this is, this is how can the session expire? Did you guys see this? Oh, my, oh, my. So you can also order onboard deliveries like strawberries and chocolates. It's a sale. It was 75. Well, it's between 65 and 70. There's no sale there. But you can also order different, you know, order different things. Okay? But you guys get it, right? Just wanted to show you guys how to go in and add to your, and you can also, um, Contact Royal Caribbean or the cruise line, any cruise line, and add. You make sure that if you're, if you're, if it's your client's birthday or anniversary or a special occasion, you want to make sure you tell the tour operator that you speak with at Royal Caribbean or Carnival or whatever cruise line it is. Give them the booking number. Tell them that it's that person's anniversary or birthday. And if there's something going on, which there's always something going on, they will um, appoint them in there. Okay, they'll make a note in their booking and they'll invite them to whatever it is so that your clients can be a part of it. Even if you're not there, you can still, your client can still benefit from it. I think it's really cool that these are things that as travel agents we must be aware of so that we can know extra parts. These are the things that makes people come back and book with us. When we put stuff like this into their cabins, and they're very reasonable considering a $250 commission for every cabin that you book or whatever the, you know, the case may be. I mean, like the ones that I'm doing for Cuba, it's very similar. It's like $200 for every booking. So why can't I spend $10 or $20 and buy my client a gift thanking them for, for joining us in the cruise and hopefully they'll join with us next year. And one thing I want to share with you guys, if you're ever, if you have a group and you're on the cruise with your group, this is what I would suggest. I would suggest that you make sure that every, and especially if you're going to be doing this again, I would suggest that you contact each member privately, never do it in an open setting, and uh, try to get them to rebook for the same cruise the following year. Make sure that you have your plan together, your dates together. Let them know we'll be doing this cruise again next year for you, all of you guys. If you guys, the deposit, this is the deposit amount. Before you leave the ship, 
I would highly recommend that you lock your cabin in now. And they will lock their cabins in. They'll give you that deposit and lock their cabins in for the next year. It's a great way for you to keep the repetitive the annual events going, annual group events. You know, this is how you want to do it, okay? So just wanted to share that with you guys. It's kind of cutting everything short because I can't get back into VAX. And that was going to take up the other 30 minutes of our time. So um, let me know what you guys need me to walk you through, help you with, or anything. This is going to be a short call, very short training now that um, I can't get access to that. I'm so hurt about that. Let me try um, Mozilla and see if I can get it. Now having trouble. I'm going to open the, well, the lines are open. Guys, speak to me. Any questions? You guys call me all week with all kinds of questions, all sorts of questions. And tonight, Thursday night, when this is when you're supposed to really be open so that we all can hear and learn from your scenario and you guys are quiet. No questions? Okay, I have one question. Yay, so, Mary! So when, you, when you're trying to get the clients to book for the next year, so they go ahead and give you all their information their, while you're on the cruise, you're saying you go ahead and set everything up or have you already, you've already checked dates and you've already got everything verified beforehand? Well, that's what you can do. You can be proactive. So if you know that you're, you have a group cruise, you have a, a cruise and you're going out, Seven seven zero two nine eight three zero three zero is my number. If you have a group cruise and you're going out with them, even if you're not, but if you are, it'll be better because you'll be on location with them and you'll see that everyone is enjoying themselves and you're paying attention because you know you're doing this again the following year. You want to you want to do that one-on-one, -on -one, find that time to do that one-on-one -on -one ever so often while you're on the trip with them, letting them know you know, you're having a great time. Awesome. I'm glad you're having a great time. I'm so glad that you were able to join us. You know, we're going to be doing this next year again, and we're going to be on so-and-so ship. Da -da -da -da. Even if you have an idea, you're going to get the numbers, get their information, and get a count so that you can lock them in. But it will be smart if you can plan it before you go on the cruise. Like this cruise in April that I have, I'm going to make sure that I set it up for next year so that while we're on the cruise, I can get them to go ahead and lock their cabins in, put their deposits in to lock it in. Then that way I can build my group a lot quicker. By the time I get back to America, I'll be working on locking that group in and making it even bigger. Okay. Then I can put, throw some more incentives in there. So you want to make sure that you get them even if and, and even with, with um and also with Disney when they when I did the Disney um Disney uh, courses Disney specialist program, they always recommend that you let your clients know to rebook before they leave the cruise. And if you're not there and they book, Disney will make sure that you get the credit. It will not go to Disney. It will go directly to you. And I know I think Royal Caribbean does that as well. I'm not sure if the others do, but I know that they all were starting to do it. That was through 2016 that I learned that. So um, that's a great way, guys, for you to lock in. If you have an annual event with groups that you're doing, you make sure you definitely get them to put their deposits in while they're on the ship because they're in that mood. They're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I want to come back next year. You get them in that mood, and they give you that credit card, and they lock that deposit. You put that deposit in and lock their cabins in. Great way to, to get the repetitive business. When they get off of that cruise and they share their experience with so everyone, their friends and family, and they let their family know, well, I'm locked in for next year, they're going to want to lock in too, and then they'll be calling you. Maybe they're not on this cruise, but they'll be on next year's cruise. So it's a great way for you to accumulate more clientele and um, lock in your events annually. Okay. Okay, I got one more question. Sure. Okay. I like questions. Okay, like I told you, I haven't I haven't booked any cru any uh, cruises or trips yet, so I'm trying to work on that. But I had a friend that mentioned, uh, you know, her husband just recently da uh, passed away, and she told me she says I kind of like to do an adult Disney cruise. So uh, as far as starting to get something together to present, 
do I just contact Disney and try to have them uh, give me some packages or what's the best way to go about that? You can do that. I, I'm an interactive girl, so I like to go. You can go to Disney site, log mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. and you'll and it can be confusing if you didn't take if you didn't if you did not go if you did not take the specialist program, Disney's mm -hmm. website can seem a bit confusing, but it's very simple because everything is right there. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going you to know, do it courses now, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Do it and you'll get a better understanding and then call Disney. Mm -hmm. Do the course first. I would recommend that you complete the specialist course first because okay. you'll, ha you'll have a better conversation when you call Disney. You'll have an ID. You won't be, like, totally clueless, mm -hmm. and you'll, you won't be writing everything down. You'll be able to retain because you already took the specialist program, so you actually know what they're talking about. And then you'll also have an idea of what, you know, what cruise, what cruise line, what itinerary, all, you know, you, you know all the activities on the cruise. And Disney Cruise, actually, Disney Cruise for grown-ups, Mm -hmm. First of all, take my Disney <laughs> Disney Cruise for Grown Ups are amazing. I think that it's it's more Disney Cruise for Grown Ups than kids because kids are totally separated and they're protected and they're in their world. But the adults, the grown ups on Disney Cruise, the restaurants, the club, oh, it's amazing. So I think your friend would would be very pleased to go on a grown up Disney Cruise. Okay. Yeah, I was amazed how many uh, clubs and so forth they actually have. For oh, adults. it's amazing. Disney, for, Disney Cruise for grown-ups. Disney Cruise is for grown-ups. It really is. <laughs> it's for kids, but, it, but they, what they do is they, they want to make sure that the grown-ups are taken care of. So when the kids are all doing their thing, they have a whole world for us to enjoy ourselves and do everything that we want to do. And it's like we didn't spend money for our kids. We spend money for all of us because while our kids are having a ball, we will too. So a lot of people think that, oh, I'm going to be bored. My kids are going to have fun, but I'm not going to have anything to do. Oh, no, you will have lots to do. I was amazed. On a Disney cruise. I was amazed. I always just, just thought of Disney cruises as being for kids until I started going through the training. No, ma'am. Yeah. No, ma'am. Disney Cruise for grown-ups? Mm. The That's restaurants, the, the, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So you should definitely recommend that to her. But take the specialist program, Mary, so that you can better sell it to her and entice okay. her with all the amazing things. Yeah. Okay. And all then right. contact Disney, and they'll put it together for you. Um, you know, they're great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No other questions, guys? Come on, guys. No. This is going to be a short call. I've never really had a call that's exactly an hour, and this seems like it's going to be that or less, and that's, of course, because I'm, I just totally messed up with closing backs out. And so I apologize, but next week I'll make it up to you guys. I'm oh. oh. Oh, yeah, we have to get you some volume here. We have to get you. Uh, did you go into the queue? I see Mary's in the queue still. I don't see you in the queue. Come on, get in the queue, Sonia. I don't know what to tell you, honey. I'm so sorry. I see everyone here, and I see you, too, but I don't know why you are on mute, and you have lots to say. <laughs> it says the queue is empty. Let's see what she says here. Um, I'm going to also next week, I'm going to share with you guys um, groups, where to find, well, not groups, but clientele. Last week we talked about getting out of the box and getting creative with your travel business. And so next week I want to share with you guys where to find groups, who are in, in your group leaders, who should you recommend as your group leaders and all of those things. I have all that information that I'm definitely going to share with you guys next week. I'll put it on a PowerPoint and um, share it with you guys to expand your search for clients, the new clientele, because I'm 
my focus is increasing commissions and increasing clientele. That's why I shared the marketing with you guys because if you put those out there, send them out to your clients, they'll know, first of all, they'll know you're in business and they know you're serious about your business because you're sending them information. And then second of all, second of all you're sharing information for them to get creative and open their minds get away. A lot of people want to get away, but they feel like they can't and they can't afford to get away. But we are here to share with them that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money just to get away. You can have monthly installments. Uh, you can do hotel only, $50 deposit, reduce rate, uh, reduce deposit program. That's why I shared Carnival. That's a great way to push getting some bookings from your clients. Those reduced deposit guys, people will put $50 down on a cruise. And it's so great because once they put the $50 down, you want to constantly send them more information and entice them to keep that and, send, and pay some more, pay some more, pay some more. Because once people put a lot of money down on a cruise, they're not going to cancel. Today I had people calling me and they're calling me with their credit cards, sixteen and eighteen hundred dollars, and they're paying it all off at once because we have a deadline of February second for our cruise. So they've been calling, and mind you, I got a hundred dollar deposit last year June, and I got nothing from them. I got no money from them. This week and last week and today, they're calling with credit card paying in full. I'm just so excited. I'm like, this is awesome. So I have like eight or nine cabins already paid off in full within the past couple of days. So, you know, we have, but we have to do things as agents. And when, like I shared with you guys, what I did, I was in Facebook. I kept posting information. I kept posting things, little things to entice them. The first person that pays their cabin off for the month of January wins the prize. The first person that pays their cabins off this week wins a prize. Or the first person that pays, you know, different things. The first person that did this or that. I just try to keep my group warm and keeping them wanting to be on a trip. Then I, I let them know I just got a conference. I just got a club locked down on the cruise, so we're going to have a club to ourselves. We're going to be partying like rock stars. You know, I put slip, um, spa slippers in their rooms. The ladies, I told them, get ready. We're going to be going to the spa. And I gave them a, the slippers that you guys saw for $5. I put them in their rooms already. I already put them in their cabins. That's why you saw their names came up because I already did that. You know, so that when we get on the, on the 19th, we're going to go chill at the spa and we'll have our slippers. Now, they can either purchase their robes or we can play some games. We're going to do, um, we're going to have card games. We're going to do spades and all of that. And the winners are going to win a trip. We're going to use the incentives in our back, my back office. They're going to win a trip. They're going to win other things on Royal Caribbean. You know, I'm just getting really creative, guys, because what? I want them to come back next year. And I want to do it better next year. So this year, I'm going to try, I'm going to just going to get, get out of the box, get really creative, share things with them, uh, give them gifts so that they want to book with me because all these people have been going online and they've been booking cruises themselves. No one has ever really used a travel agent before, so this is their first time. I want them to always want to use a travel agent. I want them to always use me for everything. So I'm taking the time to make them all feel special. And when you do that, that's when we get the repeat business. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys on, you know, how we do things to keep to lock people in. It's a, it's a travel agent psychology, I call it. <laughs> right? You guys get it? Well, it's an hour. We're going to wrap it up. And since I couldn't get in, I apologize, guys. Next week, we're gonna, I'm not going to log out. I'm going to keep it in there. I'm gonna, in the morning, I'm going to get on back and see what's going on because you guys were having issues too, so it's not just me. I thought it was only me, but it's not. So, And I've changed my password twice already with Vax. So um, I'm going to check it out. Maybe they're, doing a, um, maybe they're bringing in a new platform. I know they've done some changes for the past couple of months with their platform, but maybe they're doing another one. Um, let's see here. Can't see the fine print without my spectacles. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll ha hopefully I'll have it figured out by next week too, Sonia. Oh, my goodness. Well, I thank you, ladies, I thank and gentlemen, for joining me this week. It's a very short call. I really wanted to have that open dialogue and any questions that you guys have. And half of the agents that called me all week asking for questions, they're not even on. Well, some of them are. Some of them are not. But, um, you know, I wanted to be able to answer all of your questions 
Uh, so if you guys have any questions, now is the time. Pour it on me. And if not, then we'll, I will see you guys next week. Again, I'll talk about, we'll talk about groups and increasing how to get our clientele up, how to get our commissions up, and so forth and so forth. So I thank you guys for joining. And this recording will be on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, much. I hear you, girl. Oh, that's Mary. Oh, I got happy for you, Sonia. I'm like, Sonia, I heard you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Leona. Um, I, Sonia, we're going to have to talk, girl. I don't know what's going on with your, um, <laughs> your mute button. Your mute button doesn't like you, but we're going to work on that. We're going to definitely work on that. <laughs> well, again, I thank you guys. Go to YouTube, go to OCM Travel Services, and subscribe so that when I post these videos, it will notify you, and you click on the link, and you can get access to it. Okay? You'll say, yes. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe you need some updates. Check your updates. Um, and also check updates in um, freeconferencecall.com. If you have the app, I have the, I have the little app, the desktop app, and I realize that um, I try to go in like 30 minutes before my calls every week to get the updates and have the updates take place. So you may have needed to do an update. I'm not sure, but um, we'll talk. We'll, we'll fix this. Good night. You guys have a wonderful evening, and thank you again for joining us. See you here again next week, same time, same place. Hopefully we'll have Vax on top, and we'll have Sonia off of mute. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good night as well. Thank you. You guys to take care. Okay.